What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of KGF Fishing. Today we are not going to be on the ice. We are going to be in the garage talking about the Garmin Panoptics Live Scope. I've been thinking about doing this video for a little while now. I just wanted to get used to uh, the unit just a little more and I've been also getting a lot of requests to do this video. So here we are today talking about a few of the specs, just some basic stuff. We're not going to go into super detailed stuff about this live scope because there's tons of other videos on YouTube you guys can go and watch. So I'm just going to talk about really how I have it set up, obviously a little bit of the specs but other than that, yeah, just stick around and enjoy. This is my live scope setup. I am running a Garmin 95 SV Ecomat Plus. It's a little frozen right now because I just got off the water. Um, just behind my Ecomat Plus, I have a Scotty bait board. Just in case I want to put some lures on it or if I do have any bait, I can just throw it on there. I really, really like having that on there actually. Then I have the transducer. I have it on a ram mount right here. So if I want to put it down in the water, I loosen this and then that tilts and then it just goes down into a separate hole. You do have to have two holes uh, for this setup. I personally did not want to deal with uh, like having to get the transducer out of the hole like I've seen in other videos. Um, now I will show you kind of what I do for my battery situation. It's all actually in the milk crate. This is on some tethers, not tethers, just ropes. So it keeps it from falling all the way back, takes off some of the weight. Inside of here, I have my my battery. It is just a car battery. I got the same one that I'm using in my Ford Flex. So say my Ford Flex battery does die, I can just uh, take this one, put it in my Ford Flex, and I should be good to go. I also have my box in here, my black box, GL, GLS uh, Live Scope box, and all my other all my other cables, as you guys can see. Um, there is a downside to this uh, setup. It is pretty, pretty heavy. It is, I would say, probably roughly 40 pounds. So it is, it's not a machine for good, like, hole hopping. Uh, yeah, no, for hole hopping, I'll just take my Markham. But for this, it is a little bit heavy for hole hopping. Lots of room for improvement on this. Just talking about a few of these specs really quick on this Garmin Live Scope. It comes with two modes, forward view and uh, down view. So when you're looking down, you can see 200 feet deep and you can see 200 feet forward, which is pretty good because I've learned so much from being able to just look so far forward, like uh, what the, like the structure and I can get on that spot way easier. If I wanna get on this, like a really deep break, I just scan forward and I can find it no problem. I don't have to drill a bunch of holes to find that break. I can just drill one hole. Okay, it's right there, 35 feet ahead of me. I'm gonna go walk over there and set up. I really like that about this unit. Uh, yeah, also just like, uh, just the live scope system, how much I've learned just by watching the fish's attitudes. Like if I'm jigging and they don't like a certain cadence of jig, I change it, see how they react to that. And I've learned so much about that. I don't have too many more specs in my brain right now. So if you are wanting more specs, I'm going to leave the Garmin link below uh, in the video description. So check out that. I, I'm sorry, I don't have too many specs. This is more of just a setup video and review how, what I think about it. So I'll leave Garmin in the description below. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to throw some clips in uh, in this video right after I'm done talking. I just want to show you guys how simple it is to use this live scope. You'll be able to see the bottom, you'll be able to see my lure, you can see the fish. It's super, super self-explanatory. I just am going to throw in a few clips for you guys to watch. It's really entertaining actually. Try not to, try not to get addicted to watching it. Okay guys, so a really quick tutorial on how to use live scope. It is super easy. As you can tell right here, that is the bottom. And this thing moving right here is my hook. So I'll be jigging my rod and you can actually see that hook moving on that live scope. And really you can see fish swimming around on the screen wherever. Um, and then off to the side right there, I can swivel this pole around and I can see 360 degrees around wherever I am. And I can scan out, 
you can see at the top, I can scan out uh, accurately um, about 80 feet right here. Um, if you get in a little bit deeper water, you can scan out even farther, but with 14 feet of water, I'm seeing about 80 feet in any direction that I want. So it's really useful actually. I'm out the other day and I was just, uh, I lined my holes up perfectly and I could see my tip up while I was jigging. Some may say it's cheating. I totally agree with them, but <laughs> yeah, it's not necessary to have this. It's just super duper cool. And the amount I've learned just from watching this live scope and how fish interact with your bait, I've learned so much and it's super cool. So, okay guys, fish on the screen kind of was there for a second. There he is. Alrighty, we're gonna see if we can get this guy to eat. There he is. This is a pike. Oh yes. Got him. Pike, 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 pike. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Oh, there's a pike. Oh, I'm gonna hit. Oh, he went after you. He's after you. He's slammed. Oh, you hit. You got it. Here we go, guys. Here's a fish. He likes this. No way. How in the heck did I miss him? Try again, try again. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. I really do. Yes. I believed in him. And he did it! I don't know what this is! Uh, last thing, talking about price point, what I think about it, is it worth the money? How long does it last is another question. When I'm out on the ice with that car battery, I have not ran it dead yet. I, the lowest I've gotten it is 11.9 volts. I was out with my buddy Brock for a, I think it was 12 hour day or something like that, 10 hour day, and it went down 0.4 volts. Started off at 12.5, and ended off at 12.1. So that's that's pretty incredible uh, how long it lasts. And I'm super impressed with it because I don't have I don't want to worry about it dying. Like if I'm doing an overnight trip, I don't want to worry about it dying. Get your battery situation figured out, keep the battery warm, and you should be good. I have been looking at Dakota lithiums, but they're just really expensive. So I'll probably get that in the future, but not not right now. Uh, <laughs> too broke for that. Hey guys, so now we are going to be talking about my review on this product. Uh, out of five stars, we're gonna give it. I'll, I'll answer that question at the end though, after I give you my positives and negatives. So, negative is how heavy it is and how much it costs. Um, it is heavy for the way I have it set up. Like I said, it's probably 40 to 50 pounds, maybe more, I don't know, I haven't weighed it and I'm not going to. <laughs> um, it's probably 40 to 50 pounds for the whole uh, thing or my bob. <laughs> but, and then the price obviously, it is expensive, it's stupid expensive. Like I said, $4,000 for a unit, uh, yeah, it's a lot of money. But, like I said, it is worth it, I think. Yeah, those are my negatives. So the price point and the weight. Everything else, I like it a lot. I, I probably explained already how much I've learned, so I'm not gonna go over that again. Um, I like how I have it set up, it's, it, it works, it works for me. Uh, yeah, but I would probably give this live scope a four out of five stars, taking off that 0.5 star just for the price and how much it weighs. Uh, if I didn't cover something in this video, which I know that I probably didn't cover everything because I already feel like I'm all over the place with this video, just put a comment below in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you guys, but other than that, I think I'm gonna end this video here because there's not too much else talk about. So, once again, if you have any comments, leave them below. I will be sure to get back to you. Also, if you guys have not followed my Instagram page, it is KJF Fishing. No underscores, no spaces, all lowercase. Uh, just go search me up on Instagram. I post on there way more than I do on YouTube. Uh, so you guys can stay updated for my channel updates, channel uploads, fun stuff like that. So, uh, see you guys on the next one and make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.